heard her talking and I said, well, God must be saying something. Praise the Lord. I am getting more excited about this God. I'm getting more excited about God. Oh yes, I'm getting more excited about God. And the reason why I'm getting more excited about God, I'm learning to lean on Him. I'm learning now to lean on Him. Hallelujah. And it's so sweet to trust him. Amen. And just take him at his word. Where we have so many pressure and, and, and problem and stress and burden. some Elder Jackson is because we don't learn to trust Jesus and take him by his word. The Bible said we are like a, a wave on the sea. Yes. We just up, down, up, down. Anywhere the wind blows, we just go. Hallelujah. And the Bible said you are unstable. And it said an unstable man in all his ways. Hallelujah. God can't be with you. You say something today. I, I trust God. I believe God. God is my deliverer. God is my healer. Yeah. And I ask God for a fridge and I don't get the fridge and all of a sudden God is no more healer and deliverer. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> he don't give me what I want and I'm mad with him. Yeah. Um, I'm telling you, I tell you something, praise the Lord. God said, I am not man. God said, I am not man that I should lie. And I'm not man that I give you my word and turn back on my word. I am not man. Don't judge me as man. I am God. And I'm God all by myself. So whatsoever I say, it shall be done. And if we believe it, and I, it, I, 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 I grant you certain excuse that it's a learning process. Touch the person and say, learning process, Elder Jackson. This is a learning process. To trust God, it's a learning process. You just don't get up. I trust God. And it just again. No. You, you got to go through something and keep going through something before you can trust God as who God is. And take Him. So I realized. And I started to learn. Our pastor always said, when you know God, hallelujah, and you start to learn who God is, hallelujah, uh, a lot of things would be much easier on your side. Oh my God. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. God is so excited to me like I just got baptized and meet him. I saw you with my mentality. I, 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 I mean, the gospel for over 30 odd years. Amen. And I'm just excited. I'm learning to know him. Ah. After 30 odd years. Our pastor always said he is preaching 50 odd years. 50 odd years. And he's just preaching his first preaching his first message. I hear people, I'm preaching and I got a whole lot of message and I got it and I got it and dump back. No! Praise the Lord. It's a process. Come on now, touch the person and say, this is a process that you've got to learn to trust Jesus. Amen. Oh yes. So I, I, I start to know the art. It is an art to it. And it's so amazing that I started to get excited about him. Why? Because when I realize that I get into some situation, yes. and when I get into the situation, and I, I, I just sit down and say, God, what are you saying to me? God, I don't have no plan for that situation, so you got to take me out of that situation. Hallelujah. And he said, hallelujah, trust me, son. I said, God, are you have to take me out of that situation. And when I see him come through, I say, God, you're not easy. You're not easy, God. 
you know, easy. Hallelujah. We make too much plan for God and leave God out of the business. And when we allow God and say, God, I we sing song. I learn how to live. And like we are telling sometimes lie. 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 We don't know it. Lie. If you only know him, we're telling lie. Because as something arises and something come up, we just change. <laughs> They have a thing named Green Lizard of Jamaica. Y'all ain't from Jamaica. Now you're from Cuba, uh, Florida, or uh, 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 upscale New York. Praise the Lord. Uh, but I'm talking to Jamaicans. They have a thing, uh, uh, a lizard named Green Lizard. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You uh, just change. And as you look around again, it just change. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it just changed. But God wants us to be who we are. Touch a person and say, I don't want to be like you. I just want to be me. Touch a person and say, I just want to be me. I just don't want to be you. I just don't want to be like the next person. I want to be me. And when I am me, God will deal with me. But when I'm imitating somebody, I'm an actor. Amen. And then when I present the real me, God says, who are you? Amen. <laughs> Even the very devil asks, who are you? Nothing. I know Paul, I know you, but I don't know who are you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. But God wants to know us all. And I stir now to lead. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I go through life now, learning the basic of life. The basic of life is whatsoever happen in life and I match it up and see what God is saying through the basic of life and I learn from that now I'm talking about now and I realize that every time Jesus speak he bring the natural things of the basic of life the soul went out to sow the, 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 the fell among thorns and, and all these kind of things. Jesus bring all of these things to let us understand what he said spiritually. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. And I want to say praise the Lord. Lord. I thank you Lord. Jesus. Praise the Lord. I'm having a joyous time. Amen. Even through trouble, I'm having a joyous time. Amen. Amen. Let, 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 let me tell you this. Now. Believe it, I can't get mad with nobody. I can't get mad at the judge. Are you somebody? No, you know. <laughs> I can't get mad at the judge to nobody. And I cannot keep up nobody in my heart. Praise the Lord. Amen. I don't have no space to keep up no one. I cannot mad and keep up no one in my heart. And the reason why. I found out that I'm hurting me, not you. Amen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I found out that you know, I want to get mad and, and, and hurt you, and instead of hurting you, I'm hurting me. Amen. I, I stop it. Yes, boss. Oh my God, my pressure gone up. In a healthy way. I have balance. Everything that I come around, I just miserable around it. Hallelujah. So I tried to you learn, yes, that when I let go everything, <laughs> don't get mad at all. Amen. It's right, the Bible said get upset, but don't let the sun go down. It must be a reason why he speak these words. Amen. Touch the person said it must be a reason. Yeah. It is for my head. Yeah. And this is for my good. Yeah. So I'm very happy. I'm a, I'm a happy. I'm a happy person these days. I'm, uh, if I tell you, it's Oh my God! No, no, no! I'm a happy big man. <laughs> I got a, I got a guy working at the house there. Man, his name is John. I, I, I take him as, as my example spiritually, the bringing thing. And John, John, John can't finish the bathroom. You know what I mean? So, John can't finish. I don't know, lose him or lose it, you know? Hallelujah! John just slow. And John 
put up one tile and him rub it off. And him step back and him look at it. And I'm watching him now. <laughs> and I just said, wow, man. This is and I tell you this. Yes, if I tell Savannah, you're not getting all that John, you know. If you get all that John, John must finish the thing, you know. Yeah, me, I'm going to get all that John. You watch me. When I get there, you watch me and John. You watch me and John. And I, I, when I get there, as I get there, John said, what happened, Pastor? I, 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 what are you doing now, Pastor? You want to take up that, that, that piece of wood that you don't trip? And, and everything, you have so much respect and manner that, yeah, 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 man. yes, John. <laughs> yes, John. He know the art of respect. And he, he's so humble and nice. He, he, he looked like a man, Ella Sibylla brother. Yes. So, so every time I come, I know John not finished bathroom and I must go three months now, John in a one little bathroom, like the, 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 the little rust on here. But I believe it, when he's done, it's going to be a model. Yes. It's going to be a showpiece. Amen. And the evangelists are wrong. Don't make the month pass, you know. Because the month pass, you want John going through the door because the mortgage has to pay. But I realize that I have to just be nice working and be. And, and, and that's what it is doing, my beloved. Praise the Lord. All of the brand them come and work, you know, hear them. Pastor. Where you get that the the from and get the patient? I wait. Yeah, me, me never know somebody that with a John and make me a know now. Amen. John. <laughs> John working on it. <laughs> but God is good. Ah, praise the Lord. A word that I want to just drop in your spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That, hallelujah. Let not your heart be troubled. For us to survive in this time, there's a shifting and a changing. And we have to adapt and, and, and understand the shifting and the changing. Praise the Lord. We put up there, behold, I will do a new thing. God is doing new thing now. Praise the Lord. And a lot of us don't even understand that God is doing a new thing. Praise the Lord. We figured out that oh, the word is the same. No, we ain't talking about the word of God because the word of God remained the same. Amen. Holiness is holiness. Living right. Amen. But God moves in different ways and do different, changes thing now. But some of us still into the old ways and the old doings while it is moving away the blessing of God. God himself said, I am doing a new thing. And that is his word. Whether I like it or not, that is his word. I'm doing a new thing. And it shall be old, bring forth something. Now, I realize that I buy a can of paint. And they tell me that the paint is pink. And you paint it on the wall, it's pink. But when it dried white. You see? It's new thing. pink. When you paint the wall with the paint, pink. It's pink. I should bring that paint to your mother and show you. You see, when it dry, the paint turn lily white. So I have to now adapt now to new, new innovation and new things. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Man is getting uh, 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 um, so uh, uh, high knowledge. technology knowledge. with knowledge. And something happened to me with that gentleman out there that was going to do the front. When I come and I see the beam and everything, blah, 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 and I said to him, listen, man, you have to put on the floor. Maybe you know that way in the Jackson. You have to put on the wire. You have to cast, cast it before you can put on the tile out there. And he said, yes, that's right, Pastor. Somebody said, all right, go ahead. We leave him, we come back. When I come back, I see a new 
king put down, which is not what I was saying to him. So said, this is a chance. So I can call up this man because it's not them catch the you know. I can call him up, you have to be up on top of them. And I call him up. Give me an call. He said, Pastor, you are dealing with the whole thing. God, things now new. He said, go on even YouTube and you see that things is new. They have new material that is so light yes. that you put it down and that thing will withstand water, pressure, anything at all. No, and I put the tile on it and all that kind of thing. And that's a new thing. I could have quarrel with him. I said, God, I learned something new now. Yes. So I said, go ahead. Yes. Go ahead with the new thing. Do your new thing. Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. Yes. Some of us still stuck in the old thing. Yes. And the old thing now works sometimes. God is shifting and doing a new thing. Yes. Praise the Lord. And you still sit down in your own ways. Oh. Well, I'm listening for God to send down lightning and thunderbolt. And God is blowing wind. <laughs> but we don't understand. But we have to know have our heart condition to receive God and receive what God is saying. And I want to just speak to you the art, our heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. From Matthew chapter, uh, uh, um, where's my blessings? Matthew chapter 15, 16. 20, just 16, 20. Praise the Lord. Matthew 15, 16, 20. Praise the Lord. And our heart has to be cleaned out. Straighten up. Perfect. To deal with God. And the word of God is the word. And whatsoever the word of God said, that's it. And hear what it is. And Jesus said, uh -huh. Are you also yet without understanding? Mm -hmm. Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever entereth in at the mouth goeth into the belly and is cast out into the draft? But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. <laughs> For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashed and hands defileth not a man. Let us say praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. That's the word of God. Praise the Lord. We used to understand, and we heard it every time. I don't eat pork because it defiles up. Don't it? Eh? I don't eat this meat because this meat do something and uh, my spiritual warfare don't take that kind of meat. And, uh, and uh, uh, I don't eat that honor there. Because that honor dear bad. A whole lot of devil casting him. And if I eat him, I'm going to have some devil in me too. Praise the Lord. But he eat the honor, yes, I know the devil is in you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus come on on the scene and Jesus tried to elevate and, 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 and open up the understanding of these people and let them understand. Hallelujah. It's a new thing. It's a new thing. new thing. And I'm teaching you a new thing. Yeah, what's the he said, let me tell you something. Yeah. Whatsoever go right into the mouth. Yeah. Ah. Go right into the belly. It go right into the belly. And it's cast out into the drop. So and it come out to the back. Oh, don't have nothing to do with your spiritual Hallelujah. warfare and life. But those things, hallelujah. It does not have anything to do with you whatsoever you eat but we 
used to have it on and we'll make you sin and, 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 and in the pool, and, and especially the rest of them. But God is saying that is not what going to defile you. Oh, that is not whatsoever you eat going to defile you. No. Those things which proceed out of the mouth. The thing that I speak from my mouth. Come forth from the heart. The thing that I speak from my mouth, it is coming from my heart. And whatsoever is coming out of my mouth, coming from my heart, it defiles the body. Not the food that I eat, but whatsoever, hallelujah, I speak. And it coming from the heart. The Bible said, heart. Is what God deal with. Yes, we used to have a saying in Jamaica, critical saying, you know a man face, but you never see his heart. <laughs> you see a man face, but you can't see his heart. Now, none of us, you can't see my heart. No one cannot see my heart. But one man can see the heart. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. And that's the man, praise the Lord, who we should, hallelujah, fear. Not men. That's the man who we should walk holy and righteous before. Yeah. Not men. He knows exactly, my God. The Bible said, the man who can destroy both the body and the soul. That's a man we should have fear for. Amen. So, the Bible is teaching us that the heart, the heart is where every function, evil thoughts, the Bible said, all evil thoughts come out of the heart. Evil thoughts. Evil thought come from the heart. Uh, Everything. Murder. Murder. Murdering come from the heart. Yes, Lord, yes, yes, yes. I can murder somebody with my mouth. Not even use a weapon, but with the mouth. Because the Bible said it proceeded out of the heart. So we gotta be careful of the heart. Because the heart is where all things coming from. And that's where God is judging us from. You could dress like a queen. Wear the most expensive clothes. Hallelujah. Uh, we could wrap over here with the whitest wrap. The whitest gown. The whitest clothes. The most expensive things. And the art is not right. Amen. That is what God is dealing with. I might look at you outside and judging you. But God said, I judge the heart. Amen. Come on now from the heart. From the heart. From the heart. Amen. Lord have Adultery. Adultery. Sexual vice. Sexual vice. Theft. Criminal. False witnessing. Tell lie. Slander. Against your neighbor. Speech. It's slandering. So when we are slandering and doing these things, it's from the heart. Praise the Lord. Now, I'm just dealing with the heart. And real fast, I'm going fast. I'm going to go fast. Praise the Lord. Look in Jeremiah chapter 17. Jeremiah chapter 17. What the word of God is saying, it is saying what it says, and it means what it says. God words stand sure. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 17. Look to the ninth, the ninth, the to the tenth. Is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? But I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, <laughs> even to give every man according to his ways. And according to the fruit of his doing. Hallelujah. The Bible said the heart is deceitful. The heart is deceitful above all things. Look how God speaks about the heart. God said the heart is desperately. Read it again. The heart. Heart is deceitful above all. Deceitful above all. All things. And 
and desperately wicked. And the heart is desperately wicked. Who can know the heart? Tell me who can know the heart? Oh, I can be smiling, but my heart is desperate wicked. I can be doing something, but my heart is desperately wicked. And you don't know my heart. You don't know my heart. I the Lord. I the Lord. But God is saying, Hallelujah. No man know the heart, but I God. Search the heart. And I am God who is going to deal and search and look on the heart. Because this part is so desperately wicked. But God, I try, I, the Lord, search the heart. I, God, search the heart. I try the reins. I try the reins. Even to give every man. Even to give every man. According to his ways. According to his ways. And according to the fruit of his doing. According to what you do. <laughs> so it said every man is going to get paid according to what he does. So God is saying every man is going to get paid according to your works. According to your will. So I go to work while it is day. Because when the night come, ah, uh, no man can work. I go work and work and work. But your heart have to be right to work. Your heart have to be straight with God to work. Now, let's go to critical Second Chronicles chapter twenty fifth. We go to critical. This is the word of God, and this is what God is talking to us. And this is what God is saying. Hallelujah. God is talking to us. I heard evangelist Alvaranga was talking about the art and I said, wow, God wants us to know. Praise the Lord. So I, I, I am telling us about the art. I want us to understand that our heart is where the issues of life and God deal with the heart. Amaziah was twenty and five years old Listen. when he began to reign. Yes. And he reigned in twenty and nine years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Aho Adam mm -hmm. of Jerusalem. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, but not with a perfect heart. Hallelujah. That bothers me so much. The Bible said he did everything. No. Touch a person and say, I, I did everything. He said, I did everything. I did everything that is right. In the sight of the Lord. I did everything what is right in the sight of God. But not with a perfect heart. But I am doing, but I'm not doing with a perfect heart. I said, God, that heart. That's hard. I'm doing everything right. I am doing what you said to do, God. I am walking as you said, walk, God. I am talking as you said, talk, God. I'm giving my tithes as you say, God. Give my offering. I give everything that I have to give and do, and I do it according to your word. But there's a problem. There's a problem. God knows that I'm doing, but I'm not doing it with a perfect heart. Let me do it. Let me do it. Because uh, other words say it enough. Anytime you find yourself in that position, you're in danger with God. Anytime you find that, I'm just doing because, you know, I just want to do, you know, because God said, if you do, you're in a danger. Touch a person that's a dangerous position. Hallelujah. I just play the music because um, I can't play the music. So I just play the music. I may just play because that you're talking about. I, I just illustrate him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just play because I can play skillfully and I want the people of God to hear. But you see me? I don't want to play. I can't play. 
God is taking a note of every one of us in whatsoever we do. Touch the person and say, God is taking a note of whatsoever we do. So whatsoever I do, and if I'm not doing perfectly, I don't do it at all. Because there is no blessing in what I'm doing. My heart is not right. My heart is not there. I am not in it. I'm not doing it because I am doing it because uh, uh, it's in the spirit of me and God is in me and I'm doing it perfectly with my spirit right. We have to be careful. Come on now, touch press. I said we have to be careful. We have to be careful. And after careful too, always say things. I'm just doing it because I, I just come to church because I use the church. I just show up because I use the church. I can't stay home because I, 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 I feel haunted. And I listen that the, 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 the 12 o'clock, then 1 o'clock. And I watch all the time and I program what's going in my mind and saying to myself, hallelujah, all of that going on at church. So I'm going to miss it so I come to church. No, don't do that. When you come to church, come with a heart to serve God. Touch the person and say the right spirit to serve God. When I enter through the gate, I enter with thanksgiving. I enter with a praise. I be thankful unto God because God has kept me throughout the week. And I come with a purpose. Don't you press and say, I come with a purpose. Yeah. I come with a purpose. I come to serve God. Yeah. In my heart. So God is saying, be careful. No. I was talking to somebody and I said, they said, Pastor, may I change myself, you know. I said, hey, hey. you can't change yourself. We have this idea about changing myself. You, mean, you can't change yourself. You can't change yourself. The only, the only person can change you is God. The only person can change any one of us is God. What do you mean, Pastor? I have to surrender my will to God. And when I surrender my will to God, God change, hallelujah, uh, me to his ways and his will. Every time I try to change myself, I drop short. Every time I try to do good, he even presents itself. Every time I try to say, I'm going to do this. You ever see some people sometimes in church? I, if, I, if I get some money, I'm going to buy a car. And everybody, don't worry, come to prayer meeting, everybody going home in my car. And everybody, you get the car instead of you there at prayer meeting, you there, uh, 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 which part? You there at mall, a shop. You there at the mall with your car. <laughs> Especially if you, ever, if you ever put it in a hot rack too. Hello! Hallelujah. This is real talk. <laughs> Did everything right. I'm just encouraging us that whatsoever we do, do it right and do it with a perfect heart. Or is no reward is it in it for you and I. No reward. No reward. So we have that art. But God is an art fixer and an art regulator. No matter how dangerous and deceiving and wicked our art is one man can get inside there with some tools and fix it doctor can fix it x-ray machine cannot see evil and then fix it the only man can fix the heart is god oh man if we just surrender unto him oh the god is not my will but it is your will our will always say don't do. Our will always say don't do. I ain't doing that. Ah. Yes, some people stubborn in church now. The more they get the word of God, is the wicked that they get now. And I mean by wicked, wicked enough. Let us get stubborn. Oh. Listen to me. 
This is the word of God. Amen. And if God said it, we have to live and comply to his will to get the blessing. Eh? No, hear what God said in Ezekiel. I'm just giving you a few scriptures. I'm coming to the last one. Coming down. In Ezekiel. Ezekiel 11, 19. I just want to go through that verse. This God is an awesome God. In Ezekiel 11. And the 19 to the 21. And I will give them one heart. And I will put a new spirit within you. And I will take the stony heart out of their flesh. Oof. And will give them a heart of flesh. Hallelujah. That they may walk in my statutes. And keep my ordinances. And do them. And they shall be my people. And I will be their God. God is saying to you and I. I, God, will take that heart. I take up that stony heart. I remove that heart. That rebellious heart. I remove it. That stiff-necked heart. I remove it. That uh, 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 murmuring heart. I will remove it. Uh, I, you, 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 you just have to surrender to God. And he said, I will give you a heart. Heart of flesh. That they may walk in my statutes. That you go to war and keep my ordinances and keep my word and do them. And, do them. and they shall be my people and I will be their God. I will come in and talk with you and sup with you and live with you and reign with you and do things with you. Amen. Hallelujah. If you just allow me. Now when God, we allow God. This is the danger again too. When we allow God and God changed the heart and the heart is changed and he gave us a new heart and a new thing we have to be careful about it. Don't think that you get new heart and you run around now oh I get a new heart I'm young and vibrant I can do all things now and all of that. No, we have to protect the heart. Guard the heart. The Bible said, no, we have a new heart. Guard your heart. Guard your heart. Eh? Amen. That's what he said. Yeah. We have to guard the heart. Yeah. If we look at Proverbs chapter 4 and the 20 verse. We have to protect the heart. Because the enemy wants to penetrate and get into the heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go My son, attend. Listen to what I am saying today. Attend to my word. My word is more than food, more than money, more than love, more than anything in this whole world. Attend to my word. Listen carefully to what I am instructing you. Let them not depart from thine eyes. I want you to understand what I'm saying and you don't forget what I'm saying to you. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life unto those that find them. They are life. And health to all their flesh. It is health for your body. Uh, yeah. Touch a person and say health. We're going back to where we start oh, from. Hallelujah. Uh, for you to have good health, your heart has to be right. Amen. For you to have, have less stress, your heart has to be right. Amen. For you to be walking without a chronic disease, most of our disease come from the heart. Yes. Because we cast it on ourselves. Yes. Hallelujah. None beat stress. Stress tear down every immune system. And when the immune system tear down, then everything go right. Praise the Lord. Touch the person and say, God, your heart. God, your heart. Uh, that's it. That's it. That's it. I, I want you to keep your heart. You see what you hear today? You see what you hear today? The enemy going to come in. And he's going to attack it. And he's going to try to tear it down. And he's going to say, well, pastor said, no, 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 Praise the Lord. But it's God said it. Touch a person and say, God is talking to me. 
I don't know what is your problem. I don't know what is in your heart. I can't see your heart. I can't know your heart. Hallelujah. Only, only God knows your heart. So I am talking. Yes, my lady. I am talking. And I'm saying. And a lot of time we, Elder Jackson said, God give you something. Now I take it back. We trick it. That's a trick of the enemy. That's a trick of the enemy. That's a trick of the enemy. Oh, God gave you God not to get back. Tell God to tell him not to have the truth. The Bible said, hallelujah, uh, 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 the, 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 the spirit of God come upon what David. And David said, Lord, oh God, God, I'm talking to you, God. Creating me. Come on now. The, the man said, oh God, created me. Condition and situation come. He said, God created me. Touch the person and say, God created me. I clean heart. And renew it. Some of us spirit want to be renewed. Let yourself go and let God have his way. Renewing the right spirit. The man reached into a state that he said, Lord, Please don't take your Holy Spirit. That means he can't take it. That means he can be shift away. That means he can remove. When the Spirit of God moves from Saul, Saul gets wicked. And when the Spirit of God comes, the man comes back again. Oh my God. Creating me a clean heart and renewing a right spirit in me.